here, welcome to Create in Spain. This video is being made especially for a guy called Clay who contacted me regarding the use of the pen tool with the silver bullet among other things. Now I don't think I've done a video before on the pen tool so I thought I would put that right and do one today. And I've got here a drawing that I made a while ago. It's a very simple drawing but it's quite suitable for use for demonstration purposes. And of course there's no copyright issue since I actually made it myself. So I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to prepare a drawing for um, making into a, a picture that is done by using a pen in the silver bullet. Now I'm assuming that you start off with a traced image to begin with. Um, there are lots of videos around on tracing images and it depends very much on what your image is like as to whether it is easy to trace or difficult to trace. If it is a simple item to trace then you can trace it within shortcuts a lot and it really isn't going to be very difficult at all. If it's a very involved image, then you might decide to use a different program for tracing. Now, one of the ones that I have is called Super Vectorizer. And that one is quite good for tracing involved images. And it will automatically give you the choice to split the image into different colors, um, different layers, whether they're stacked or not stacked, and so on and so forth. So that's quite a handy one to have. The other way of tracing images, if you have one, is with something like an iPad. Now I use a couple of art applications on my iPad and generally these days I use only two. But the one that I would use for tracing is called Concepts. And it is a very, very straightforward process to trace an image by hand if you have an iPad with a stylus, a proper pressure sensitive stylus, or at least one which has a reasonably fine point if you have an up-to-date iPad. Now I have an iPad Pro, the smaller version, and I use the Apple Pencil, and it's great. I wouldn't fail to recommend that at all. If you need to do a lot of tracing, it's great, not a problem. Um, the other app that I use is Procreate, and again, you could trace in that one as well. I tend to use Concepts because I am more used to Concepts uh, for tracing, and I use Procreate for brush facilities, but um, that's just my personal preference. There are an awful lot of art apps out there, and many of them can be used for tracing items. but. It very much depends on the type of image you have. Some images have got fades of colours and if you try and trace those you really are going to be having a very hard time unless you do manual tracing. But anyway, this is an image which has lines already and if for example I wanted to make this into a drawing done by pen in my silver bullet at the moment it would do it and it would be all black because all my lines are black. It would be all one colour. But you can easily sort this out. To start with you take the selection tool whoops just let go of the mouse sorry. Take the select, <laughs> selection tool and you break everything apart. And you'll see when I do this, I've actually got an outer cut line and then I've got pen lines. Now, the reason for this is because I've obviously made this into a cut file previously and I was going to be drawing the insides and cutting the outside. So what I've got here is a single line and I've just pulled it out just for demonstration purposes. If I go to the spanner tool, you can see that this is a line type which says cut. And if I wanted this line to draw, all I would do is make it a draw line, draw pen. That is all I have to do. Now, 
if I do this, I can also change the colour of it to whatever colour I want. At the moment, it is black, and this says pen colour, so that's fine. It's pen colour, it's black. Um, I could change it to whatever colour I want to by clicking on this and choosing something else. So I could have purple, for example, if that's what I wanted. I could also make it show up by increasing the line density. But be aware, increasing the line density does not make the line any thicker in reality. That merely shows up on your screen as a thicker line doesn't do it any other way. That will still be a fine line. The other options you have, if you have a closed shape, so for example, I can do a, a square or something, you can go to the effects and you can do a line fill and you can alter the line spacing you can put cross hatching in or whatever it is you want to do and then you just click OK and it will fill with lines. And if I make this slightly bigger you might be able to see it. You can see lines there. Um, now that is pretty much it for the drawing side of it. You select your line, you go to the spanner, you make sure it's a draw line, if you want to, you change the colour. Right, when it comes to the cutting, if I go to preview here, on my box I've got show cut lines. If I want to take that off and show draw lines, this is what it will come up with. Okay, so it will show me the lines that are going to be drawn. Quite simple. Now, if I go to the cutter, what I need to do is to make sure that I have certain things selected. If, for example, you are going to do a cut line and then you are going to do draw lines, it is worthwhile putting it on what you see is what you get and then making sure that you place the image where you want to place it on your mat or on your paper um, or card, whatever it is. Okay, just to avoid mistakes, because if you separate things and then go to origin, it's going to cut it at the origin, not where you think it's going to cut it. It will cut it from the origin. And if your origin is down here, that's where it's going to cut it or draw it. So use your wazzy gig. The second thing is when it comes to the holder, you see I've got standard blade setting here. Okay, what you want to do is select your pen because that doesn't have any offset for the actual blade on it. So you want to select your pen. And then when it comes to this bit, you want to have your blade or pen prompt selected because that will prompt you as to whether you should have the blade holder in it or your pen holder, whatever, you know, your pen colour. And it will automatically prompt you with a box to change your colours. Okay, if you've got your colours selected, it will do it. Now, other than that, that is pretty much it. It's very straightforward. It's quite easy to do. I suggest you practice on some scrap paper with a cheap biro and yeah just go ahead and take a practice shot but it's not difficult to do if you use your preview you'll be able to see what is going to be done in the pen and what is going to be done in a cut and that's the best way of checking that you've got things right I said if you want it to tell you to swap from a yellow pen to a blue pen, then make your lines yellow and blue and it will do it. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.